Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install the Universal Updater application on your 3DS. And what is Universal Updater, you might ask? Well, it is an app that will let you update any of the homebrew apps that you have on your 3DS, as well as update your Luma 3DS version and a bunch of other updates. But more importantly, it will let you download any homebrew app directly to your 3DS over the internet. So you don't need a PC in order to download all of these apps and emulators, which is pretty cool. So you can see, if I wanted, I could get the MGBA GBA emulator directly from this app. And there are a bunch of other apps like Twilight Menu++ Plus Plus and RetroLarge, which are all incredibly useful to have on your 3DS. The only thing you will need for this tutorial is a 3DS that is connected to the internet, and your 3DS should have some sort of custom firmware on it. So yeah, let's get started with the video. And once you guys are on your computer, you just want to go to the first link in the description, which should bring you to the Universal Updater page. Now Universal Updater is a great app to have on your 3DS, because you can update your custom firmware version with it, you can also update all of the homebrew apps that you have on your 3DS, and with Universal Updater you can actually download those exact homebrew apps directly from your 3DS, so you don't need a PC. I think that is really cool, so it is really good to have this application on the 3DS if you can. So in order to download it, you can either scan this QR code with your 3DS, and the download can begin from there. Or if you want to go the traditional way, just download the CIA or the 3DSX file. I'll download the CIA to show you how it works. So just click on this button and your download should be completed immediately. So now that we have the CIA on our desktop, we just wanna enter our SD card that we plugged into our PC, go into the CS folder and just move the CIA into the CS folder. And that is pretty much it, we can go back to our 3DS right now. And once we are back, we just want to insert our SD card into the adapter and then plug it back into the console, like so. And now we can turn on the system. After we are in, we just want to launch FBI, go into SD and then go into the CS folder and just click on universalupdater.cia and then click on install and delete CIA. Press A and the CIA download will start. And after it is completed, we can press OK and just exit FBI. And we will get a new software prompt that looks something like this. So just press OK and we can unpack the software. And here it is, Universal Updater. So now we can enter it. And before we enter this application, I do want to mention that you will need an internet connection for this, of course. So if your 3DS is not connected to the internet right now, make sure that it is before entering. So now we can enter the app and we can close FBI and it will take a little time to load but it should be pretty quick and you get a little patch note screen after all of that initializes so just click A and here we are in the Universal Updater. And you can see that from here you can install a bunch of homebrew apps that you would regularly need a PC to install, which is very, very cool. So we can install a bunch of things. As you can see, we have Twilight Menu++. Plus Plus. So basically all of the things that I've been doing the tutorials on, you can download directly from here using the internet. And another great thing about this app is that you can also update your Luma 3DS version with it. So I do need to do that. So I'll show you how to do it right now. So just click on Luma 3DS and then click on boot.firm and then just press A on this screen and you can see that these arrows are now spinning which means that this is updating currently and now we're supposed to have an updated version of Luma 3DS and after we install the boot.firm we can restart our 3DS so let's just close it and then we'll turn it back on again and after the 3DS boots back up again, this menu should pop up. And you can see that up here it says Luma 3DS version 13.3, which means that the update was successful. Now, if you don't get the screen right away, it is possible that something failed during the update if your 3DS just boots up normally. So if that happens, just make sure to try the update once again. So go back into Universal Updater and download the file once again. Personally, for me, it worked the second time, so yeah. So you can click save and exit on this menu so you can scroll up and down with the D-pad. So just click save and exit and your 3DS should boot up just fine. 
Like so. So now we will try an app that didn't work before the update. It said that the Luma 3DS version was out of date and that is Pretendo. So let's try launching it. And you can see that the app actually recognized that we updated our firmware. We just need to enable some of these options for it to work. But yeah, the update worked just fine. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram. And I will see you guys in the next video.